on microsoft is down two and a half percent now a lot of you guys are wondering what happened friday we got three things that is driving this market and especially mega caps down on friday we got quad witching on friday so we saw a lot more selling and then we got cpi and ppi last week and they both were hotter than expectation guys you know inflation coming back and then on top of that usually you know this month we get some sort of a sell off at the end and i think it's just getting started so watch next week microsoft now trading under this big trend line right here this uptrend it was holding up until now and friday with this uh, bearish engulfing candle now the only support to watch on microsoft down here guys 328.67 rising white line 20 sma and if that gives up it's all over for the bulls you're going to see at least in the short term a lot more selling down to 316.55 on microsoft now microsoft can hold above 328.67 and we get some sort of a bounce then watch out for a move up to uh, 333 and then 335 right here on top and then 339 on amazon stock is down three percent now i did mention in my last video that i got a short position here on amazon uh, i think that was thursday night and it's slightly underwater because it was uh it was actually above 144 now amazon on friday not only i got paid my puts went in the money exactly 140 and now if you look at it you know there could be some more downside in the short term on amazon and if you want to support the channel and get setups like this definitely check out my link down below in the description for patreon and that's the only way you will get those uh, trade ideas and also you can support the channel now on amazon i sold out completely on friday and if you look at my screen now there could be more downside on amazon especially going into monday guys right here 13 sma on this daily chart sitting at 139 and this big support at 138 so this is gonna be critical on amazon to hold above at least i would say uh, 139 to 138 and if that gives up we also have support down here 137.25 uh, rising white line 20 sma and then all the way down here 134.90 i would say 135 right here and then below this uh line right here you're going to see a lot more selling possibly coming all the way back down to uh, 129.84 just under 130 to close this gap down here now amazon pulling back we could be pulling back to this uh you know uh, breakout support right here and around 138 to 139 but if that holds amazon not going to come down here and you're going to see a bounce at retest from uh, 138 139 and possibly moving higher back up to uh, 140 to 86 blue line 5 sma and soon as that breaks you're going to see amazon moving higher back up to 146 on google stock is down half a percent so if you look at google here guys you know it didn't really affect google on friday not really selling off that much only down half a percent so google here if this thing actually gets that breakout above 140 you're going to see the next stop and that is around 143 now to the downside uh google right here we got strong support around 137 right here 13 sma on this daily chart and just below that down here around 135 and this is gonna be a key level uh if you look at my screen from this uh low right here it's been holding this uptrend uh for a couple of months now so in any case you see a, a pullback on google down to 135 this has to hold here on google stock if not you're going to see a lot more selling possibly down to 130 so watch this support up here around 137 uh, 135 and to the upside you want to watch 140 and then 143 as a resistance here on google stock i think google stock can hold above 135 that would be a nice opportunity right here to buy that dip on google and ride it back up to the upside but you know knowing this month you know uh, we get some sort of a sell-off at the end you got to be careful and you got to have your stop losses in place 
uh, if you get this dip at 135 because if that breaks you're going to see more selling on Google all the way down to 130 and here's my X account and if you're on there definitely give me a follow I do post a lot of things uh, some of my trade ideas right here that I share with my patreon group and also weekly daily expected moves uh, my charts all the setups right here on X on AMD it's down 4.82% and AMD again back down to the support 100 and this is going to be a critical support going into next week 100 right here guys now AMD also getting a bit oversold hitting this uh, lower Bollinger Band on this daily chart which is sitting close to uh, 100 right here so this is going to be a key level to watch next week 100 on AMD needs to hold I mean this thing can form a double bottom right here holding 100 and only if that happens you're going to see some upside in the short term possibly going back up to retest 105 and only if that breaks you're going to see a little bit more upside up to 106.11 white line 20 SMA and then 108 now AMD takes out 100 and we get maybe one or two closing below 100 you're going to see a lot more selling all the way down to $89 on AMD on Nvidia stock is down 3.69% $17 down on Friday massive massive sell off here on Nvidia guys and that is why I was holding those puts and just not looking at it every day I, I know a lot of people you know when they buy something they have to look at it every day and especially when you're buying options one year out uh, you know you don't have to look at it every day unless it's going up like 50 60 bucks every day then yes you're underwater and you have to look at it but I think I pretty much caught the top on AMD and so far now my position on uh, Nvidia my short position is up 55 percent and look at this support this magnetic support on Nvidia again holding this uh, trend line right here 439 exactly into closing guys now it's getting really close to this gap so I think early uh, Monday morning you're going to see Nvidia closing 435.78 this gap and look at this now 431.45 where this lower Bollinger Band is sitting so between 431 and 435 there is gonna be strong support on Nvidia for at least a bounce in the short term and if we get that bounce where this thing can go watch out for a move up to 450 and only that breaks watch out for 454 465 on nvidia now below right here 435 watch out for 431 and if that gives up you're going to see flat 400 on nvidia stock on Apple stock is down 0.42% and Apple getting up to 176 and look at this getting rejected by this blue line 5 SMA coming down and holding just above 173 holding that as a support into closing and closing at 175 so this is going to be a critical level to watch Monday 173 174 because if that gives up you're going to see a lot more selling down to this support 170 and just below that we have this massive gap around 167 now to the upside watch this blue line right here 176 and also 177 to break on apple stock and only above 177 you're going to see a quick trip all the way up to 180 181 39 13 sma on this daily chart and then the gap above 181.47 on Tesla stock is down 0.60% so Tesla actually holding uh, nicely right here above blue line 5 SMA 272.56 and this blue line will move up Monday so I would say 273 to watch on Monday as a support now if that gives up we also have support on Tesla down to uh, 266 and then 262 all the way down here this gap 256.52 now to the upside we got a bull trend on Tesla and Tesla can stay above 273 to 272 you're going to see more upside all the way up to 285 and then 290 to close this gap all the way up here on Tesla
on meta it's down 3.66 percent and this is not looking good here on meta guys i mean look at this big bearish engulfing candle on meta and barely holding 300 as a support into closing so if that gives up watch out for the support down here 296 white line 20 sma and then 290 on meta to the upside 300 can hold then watch out for a move back up to the upside up to 305 right here to retest blue line 5 sma and only above 300 and then above 305 you're going to see some more upside going back up to 311 and then 316 now meta breaks below 300 you're not going to see any more upside in the short term you're going to see a lot more downside at least down to 290 and then possibly you know down to this support down here around 281 to 276 so we don't know anything yet going into next week i think we're going to see at least some more selling on meta because you cannot ignore this candle right here guys whenever you get something like this i mean uh we don't have to go too far i mean look at this one here what happened after we got this one a lot more selling down to 276 so now we got one right here you know if there's a bounce uh going into next week on monday i would short meta you know around 305 but as of right now if you want to short i would say wait for a breakdown below 296 because if that gives up trading below white line 20 sma you're going to see a lot more selling on meta so watch this big level of support 300 296 290 281.33 and 276 to the upside resistant to watch 305 311 316 on netflix is down 0.89 percent so we saw that head and shoulder pattern right here but uh it didn't actually play out uh when we all saw it right here this thing went back up trapped a lot of uh bulls right here for that breakout to close that gap on top and look at what happened you know and i know a few people were chasing netflix before especially around uh 436 430 right here for a big breakout above 450 and that is why you want to wait for those confirmation and i said it before that wait for that confirmation and breakout above 450 will take netflix all the way up to 470 and as you can see multiple times getting rejected from 450 and coming down and closing under we never got a close above 450 in last a uh, few times we got up here at 450 plus and now look at this guys a big sell off and i think now this head and shoulder pattern which is not valid anymore but i think it's going to play out and we could see a lot more selling on netflix now in the short term on shorter time frame this thing is getting really oversold so now there is a strong support around 391.39 and that is this lower bollinger band on this daily chart and we can possibly touch uh this lower bollinger band going into next week on monday and then we could see you know a little bit of bounce here on netflix back up to i would say 400 to 406 and then another rejection from here will take netflix down to this gap 383.76 or if the market sells off and gapping down on monday watch out for a move especially down to 391.39 and below that watch out for this gap 383.76 and also we have strong support down here guys 376 on netflix now if this thing somehow breaks above 406 you're going to see a little bit more upside all the way up to 419 and that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you so much for watching